12 employees can work on a task in 8 days. How many employees can be assigned to work on the task if it must be completed in 6 days? So, we are dealing with inverse proportion. As the one decreases, the other increases. From 8 days down to 6 days, decreasing. So automatic, since it is a work problem, the number of employees must increase in order to complete the job in a shorter time, right? So in inverse proportion, where there is opposite behavior, the product is constant. So the product is constant. Remember that. So there are 12 employees to work for 6 days. And we are looking for the number of employees that we will work for 6 days in order to complete the task. So just shift calc and x is equal to 16. And the answer is letter B. I will just take this opportunity to, to tackle the two most common types of proportion. The direct proportion and the inverse proportion. Um, napag-usapan na natin yung inverse proportion, so I will just share about the direct proportion as well. Direct proportion has mutual behavior, meaning when one increases, the other also increases, and their quotient is constant. Remember, quotient is constant in direct proportion. However, as what we apply in our problem, inverse proportion have opposite behavior. As one increases, the other decreases, and the product is constant. So just remember, direct quotient is constant, inverse product is constant.